Why, hello everybody! Welcome to a new game on the channel, Software Inc. That's right, a brand new spiffing game, which is going to be absolutely fantastic. So, let's get started. I've never played this before, just to be clear. So, these patch notes mean nothing to me. So, I'm just going to play it, because I genuinely don't know what's going on. So, let's, let's do that. It's Alpha 10, by the way. The game's still in development, so it's still in... Uh, alpha testing, which is great. So why not jump on the bandwagon now? Um, I can see there's some things for the Steam Workshop, so you can have mods and stuff, but we're going to play this vanilla um, because I don't know what's going on. Um, continue. Oh, you need to have a game. <laughs> That's so stupid. Right, let's let's start. Let's go with new game. Ooh, this is fun. Welcome to the customization screen. Press continue to advance the tutorial or cancel to exit. Oh, well, no, we, we probably need tutorial. Pick a name for the company. Well... Rains, Rainsoft is what it's called. Rainsoft. Welcome to Rainsoft, because that's an original name. Um, <laughs> um, now pick a name for the founder of the game in the game. Oh, okay. Well, his name is Gaming Rains. So, what are you going to do about it? Hence, Rainsoft, right? Let's be honest. That makes complete sense. He is male. Yes, we can make him male, and you can use these buttons to choose an aspect of your founder's appearance that you want to change. Oh, okay. Okay. Right, so, a head. Oh, he can, can have a big jaw. Ear size. Can we... Oh, that's a big ear. Ear position. Oh, there we go. We can literally make him as ridiculous as we want to. There we go. Look at that. Eyebrow thickness. Oh, he needs eyebrows. Don't have to be, yeah, curvy as well. Always angry. That's what I like about this guy. Business casual, semi-long or afro or a hat. No, he's going to have, he's going to have hair. Um, let's, let's make him semi look like me. You can have him red, which, which, oh no. I've lost the skin colours. <laughs> Where's the skin colours gone? I don't know. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no, it's all gone horribly. Oh, there we go. Skin colour. No, I don't want to cancel the tutorial. It was just in the way. Um, that's fine. Eyebrows. Oh goodness, how do I select eyebrows? This is so weird. Eyebrows. There we go. We can make him. We can have brown eyebrows. I've got. I've got. I'm. I've got brown eyebrows. Because that's how it is. Oh. Yeah, he can, he can have. Well, gaming range is light blue. It's all about the blue, right? So he can. I don't know. Are we? Do we have to wear a hoodie? I, I guess not. Let's do the face first. Or oh, he can have a mustache. I don't have a mustache. I can't grow beard. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be enviable, and he, uh, my character is gonna have a beard. Excellent. There we go. Let's be enviable. Um. He's he's going to be smart because he goes to work, and he's going to wear glasses because glasses are normally pe for smart people. So let's let's do that. <laughs> let's let's give him glasses. Um, I don't mind his trousers. I don't mind wearing shorts. I'm gonna I'm gonna put him in a nicer color than this though. So can we go brown? Oh, nice, nice brown. There we go. So original. But his torso, we're gonna have him a nice light blue shirt. Why not? And then the sleeves, or that bit, is going to be a slightly... Oh, it can be white. There we go. Oh, look at him. He looks completely out of place, which is about right. So, can we continue? Yes. Yeah, you can pick the founder's personality traits. Oh. Where? That's down here. It's got an arrow pointed there, but I'm confident it's here. <laughs> you can choose two traits, which will affect your founder's behavior listed below. Oh, okay. Oh, flirt. How you doing? Um, so, I guess we sort of want maybe... Oh, I'm going to be cocky. Like, cause, and then optimistic. Yeah, I think that they're two good ones. Uh, which will affect your fantasy behaviour listed below and inner inter-office relationships. Oh, cocky might not be the best. Maybe flirt would be good. No, let's be cocky. I I'm going to be cocky. Um, hard worker gives it 110%. Oh, right, what's this? Continue. Here you can collect uh, skill points. Oh, can we not change this? 
Or does this change when you change personality? Oh, well, I don't mind. Um, what's this? Okay, so here you can pick the founder's skill points and specializations, which will affect the performance of your founder. Ooh. Specializations are limited by skill, so if your founder has low design skill, he or she will also be low skilled in design specialization you pick. Okay. Um, you can further educate and train your founder to gain skill and specializations in the game. So, oh, right, okay. So this all moves. So I guess he needs to be a lead because he's so lead increases the ability to bring together a team. But we're going to be working on our own, I think, to start with. From what I know of this game, programmer increases programming speed, code quality, and how quick bugs are fixed. Designer increases that. Artist is how fast an artist works on the quality, and marketer is, I guess, that. Well, maybe we should be a good programmer. I think that would make sense early game, probably. And maybe a bit of good design. I'm not worried about lead right now. Oh, okay, so... Design specialization, I don't know. Um, we could be audio. I think 2D, maybe. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. Should we go... Oh, it's a tough one. Design specialization. He specializes in audio. Let's go with audio. Let's go with audio code. Or oh, code, actually, he can be system. I don't know. An art audio, because that would make more sense that he's good at audio across the board. Let's try that. I don't know. It could be quite interesting. Continue. You're done. Can you, let's choose by choosing the rules of the game. Okay, that's fair. So... Starting funds, you can take out a loan. Oh, it, it literally acts as a loan. That's actually quite clever. Um, we'll have no loan. We'll start the game. Start in the 80s, yeah. Let's start at the beginning of time, why not? Um, difficulty, should we go medium? I don't know. Oh, easy, you get a lot more money. Should we start medium? I don't like playing games on easy. And days in the month. Should we say two? I, what does this mean? I think... I think it is. The longer it goes on, the more time you have to sort of organise stuff. Let's go two days, I think. I don't know. Is that a thing? Let's do that. Burr. Don't know. Continue. You can enable mods. We ain't got mods. Now pick how much money you want. Oh, you need $50,000 if you'd rather purchase a plot than lease. No, we'll lease because it's all about growing. No, that's fine. Oh, here we go. One month lasts a day by default. The game was made with this pace in mind and is therefore the recommended setting. Oh, okay. If you feel that the game is going too fast or you want a couple of days to earn money between having to pay bills, you can increase this setting. Be aware that everything will move slower to match the setting you pick and you can't change it later on. Oh, great. Well, you've made me think about it now. Let's go one then. We'll have to go with the recommended. Now pick a map. Great. So we can start in a garage, which is a little cheaper, or the apartment. We can get an empty plot, but we can't because we don't have enough money. Or a skyscraper, incorporated. I'm going to start in a garage. Every good business started in a garage, right? So let's start in a garage. We don't... Least area is a little bit smaller than that one. I don't know whether we can... Oh, should we... Let's just go. Oh, that's it. Oh, I clicked OK, and we're getting pushed in. Would you like your, to begin a welcome tutorial? Yes, please. Welcome to Software Inc. You can drag this window somewhere else if it's in the way, which it has been already once, by clicking and dragging the title bar. Great. Move the camera with WASD, of course, holding the right mouse, or by dragging the mouse. Oh, that and dragging the mouse. Or by moving the mouse to the edges of the screen, if edge scrolling, which it isn't, is enabled. Uh, why would you do that to yourself? Now, you can rotate the camera via the middle mouse and moving the mouse up and down, blah, 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 or by using the up arrows and down arrows. Why would you do that? Um, you can zoom in and out with the scroll wheel and the keypad plus and minus. Great, great. The keys can be configured. Yeah, great. Um, you can see your bank balance. Yes, we don't have any money. We have 10 grand. That's not a lot. Um, and up here, you see the number of your fans. Oh, we can have fans. That'd look better my, than my channel, won't it? Um, so that's good news. Uh, we always like a we always like a fan. That's that's exceptional. Um, 
Um, you can hover over the bar to see your market recognition in each software market to sell more products in each software category. You can you need to gain additional market recognition by making good products and marketing them. Great. Below that, the stars show your current business reputation. You can hover over the bar to see what is currently affecting your reputation, if anything. Here you can see how much money is moving in and out. Great. Since this is your first day, nothing is showing. If you were to click here, a window with an overview of finance will open. Oh, so it does. Isn't that magical? You can now control how fast time moves, representing 0, 1, 2, or 3. Oh, okay. Well, at least that's semi-sensible. Notifications will appear in your top left. You can drag the notification bar down. Great, that's good. Um, some notifications can click to see details. You can right-click the notifications to delete them. All your controls and windows are here in the bottom left-hand corner. Remember, you can always restart any tutorial from the options menu. When you are ready, begin building your office by entering build mode. Oh, cool. Right, so it's like The Sims now, because it has pretty music. Um, the game is always paused when in build mode. You can, when you own a plot of land, you can construct and lay out your offices however you like. But when you're leasing, you can only furnish, uh, furnish the offices you are currently leasing. If you want to buy a plot of land later on, you can relocate your company by clicking Move Company in the Pause menu, or by using the button next to the Build menu. Click Continue when you're ready. So to begin placing objects, you should move to a floor which has the rooms leased. Oh, oh. Is this, is this our office? Well, it's absolutely wonderful. That's all I can say. It's got a window, so that's something. <laughs> um, build a table by looking at it in the build panel. Oh, so this is a table. Oh, that's a nicer table, though. We don't have a lot of money, though. I don't know whether 10 grand it really is. I bet it's not a lot of money at all. I think maybe we should get a rubbish table. Let's get a rubbish table. Where should we put our table? Should we? I want to look outside. Can we... Oh, we rotate like that. There we go. So there's our table. Outside, right sort of in the middle of the window. That looks quite nice. And then a chair. Oh. I... Well, we'll get a cheap chair, I suppose. Oh, and then a computer. An old computer. <laughs> Great. So that can go facing that way. Oh, okay. That... Okay, well, I have somewhere to work now. When you put tables next to each other, they will be grouped together if they don't have anything on top of them. Tables are grouped together, can be used for meetings. To see which tables are grouped, just select one table and its group will be highlighted. It's important that you control noise levels in your working environment. Try, enable, try enabling the audio overlay to see what furniture is making noise. Ooh, how interesting. Oh, there's a toilet. Does that... That makes noise. That's not good. So... How oh, very interesting. Um, and then toggle it to advance. Now let's assign a room to a team. Employees from other teams may not use it either, or even pass through it. Right-click your room. Oh, okay. Oh, look at this wheel. How fancy. Switch team. Oh. And associate it to the core. Okay. Remember to assign employees to a team as well. You can do this by either pressing the right mouse on an employee and choosing switch teams from the employee. Uh, or from the employees window or directly from the hiring window pressing shift and left mouse with the cursor on objects and the so shift oh god i pressed it and it's gone try clicking what try clicking this room we can lease this room we can't lease this room oh I, I feel like i'm skipping ahead um you can also terminate your leases by selecting rooms you are currently leasing. Um, note that terminating a lease will sell all the furniture in the affected rooms, but you can use the undo button to get your furniture back. When you're ready to continue, exit the build mode. So that's it. I've got a computer. Cool. Hint. You can change lighting conditions in build mode. Okay. Strange. Right. Uh, no, I don't want to cancel. What? A, what? A, oh, exit the build mode. Because I don't want to lease a room that I don't know whether I'm using yet. So... We go to employees. This is a full list of your employees. Um, he's on the core team, which is the right team. This is a... Uh, yeah, you can check any options at the top bar on all your employees. Okay. Oh, he's at home. Good for him. And then, obviously, you've got a skill one there as well. So he's good at coding. That's, that's important, isn't it? 
I assume it is. Great, okay. When you select an employee on this list, they will be selected in the game. What? Oh, that was it. Uh, I, I skip ahead sometimes. That's a complete accident. You can select several employees by holding down Shift or Control while clicking on their names in the employee window. Right now, press right mouse anywhere to bring up the context menu for the selected employee. And then switch team. As in core. Okay. When you're done, click OK and then press the right mouse again and change his role. Clicking on a role in the window will assign the employee exclusively to that role immediately, whereas ticking the check mark will allow you to pick several roles for you, for you employee. Your employee is what that should said. Spelling error. You can also toggle the any role check mark to check or uncheck uh, all the roles at once, or click auto role to assign your employee to the role that the employee is most proficient at. Note that the leader can't be chosen unless the employee is assigned to a team and leaders won't work in full capacity in other roles. Close the select role window and click continue to advance. Okay. I think, can we close that now as well? I don't know. With your employee selected, press the right mouse wheel once again to bring up the context menu and select the employee details. Oh, hello. Oh, I'm 20. How are to be 20 again? In the top left, you can see the personality traits and below that your employee skills in each role. Clicking a role will allow you to assign the employee to that role. Cool. Okay. In the bottom left part of the window, you can see your employee specializations, which shows how educated your employee is in different subjects. The base skill is your employee's experience in that role. In the top right window, you see employee's traits. These traits are controlled by your employee's two personality traits. You can hover over each of these traits to see how they affect your employee. In the center right part of the window, you can see the latest thoughts of the employee. This will tell you how happy, if they're happy with their workplace and the consequences and how effective they are at their job. You should inspect this often to see how well your employee is doing. Great. Okay. And finally, in the bottom right part of the window, you can see what's currently affecting your employee's effectiveness. In the beginning of the game, you'll need to make some quick cash. Oh, okay. Cool. Bring up the contract window. Oh, that always, oh, oh, contract. This is a list of available contracts. New contracts will be added as older ones are completed. Contracts have an upfront payment you will receive for accepting the work and a bigger payment for completing it. You complete a contract by delivering the code and art units requested. Try selecting our contract on this list now. Okay, so should we... Well, these are worth a lot of money. Okay, so this is chicken fat. They don't need much code units. Um, they don't need any art units. They only need one designer and one programmer, which I guess I am. And no artist, and I have a month to do it. And they don't want good quality work. But they will give us loads of money. So, should we accept the work? Let's accept... Because it's the most expensive one there, so let's accept it. Ooh! So, we got some money. So until an employee actually starts working on the contract, the deadline will not count down. During the design phase, your employees will reduce bugs in your final um, in the final delivery and increase quality. Make sure you promote your design as soon as the progress bar reaches the end to avoid over-engineering. The tutorial will continue once you decide to move to the next phase. Okay. So... I mean, where is our guy? Is he not going to show up today? It's 1980. I wasn't born in 1980. Just, just genuine fact. Maybe I skipped the day. Oh, there he is. So, yeah, we, we lost a bit of money. £300. Well, probably more than that, actually. We actually lost lots of money because construction, we bought some stuff and we paid some bills. So he's now getting on with that. Oh, look at him. He's just typing away. Can you actually read that? It does look like you, it does look like it's actual real writing, so I, I'm assuming we we can literally go until oh look there's a bar inside I, I I could just see that moving so I guess when that gets to the end we want to develop as because we don't want to overdevelop it so it gets to the end there we go that's pretty close isn't it 
So let's develop it. There we go. Oh, lovely. When the code and art units, if necessary, reaches the uh, the target value, you have completed the contract. You can continue working on it if you want to deliver a better product and receive more business reputation. Make sure you do a client review before you move on to the bug fixing stage to make sure it lives up to their quality expectations. Okay. So I suppose we can just type away. Oh, look. Already there by lunch. Nearly done. So now we we've, we've got there. So let's do a review. Oh, good, good God, a client review is what we want, and I assume that they get back to us once that's done. Oh, there we go, ten reviews. Oh, right. Let's end that. Oh, they've said it's very good, actually. Oh, okay. Well, we can promote this now. I think. Um. <laughs> And uh, you can no longer, yes, there we go. So then there's a delay phase. I don't know what that means. Where's he going? When you're ready, move on to the bug fixing stage. It's impossible to know exactly how many bugs a piece of software has. So just try to fix as many as you can before the time runs out. Where's he going though? My guy's like, I'm, I'm off. Does, wh what's his shift? What? <laughs> what? Manage employees. What? What? You can't just go home when you want. How do I? Ch what? Why has he gone home for? Employee details. Oh, you can't. Can you not change that? Manage teams. Oh, well, he shouldn't have gone home. That was that was in a in a absolutely unacceptable. Um, would you like a tutorial? Yes. Here you can manage and create teams. Cool. Arrival and departure. Okay. Minimum. Okay. I, I don't know, but you should stay till five, right? Eight till five seems fair. I guess we go to the next day then. So we've made no money again, which is not good. And my guy should turn up. There he is. Right. So are you actually going to go and do some work now? Me. Can we bring the walls down? Oh, is that better? I don't know whether I like that. Because of that. Some pants. I don't know. Maybe we can have walls. I'm not fussed. Either way, he's cracking on with work. So, he's fixed a bug. I guess we can just release it. Oh, we got loads of money. 8,000. Look at that. So, congratulations, guy. He made money. Should we do another work? Let's do another job. Let's get uh, this job. It's another logistics. Everything seems to work. So, we'll accept that. And you crack on, young man. So, he's going to quickly do that. Oh, lovely. Look at this. And we can develop that. Why not? Let's just get straight into the development phase. I didn't see what quality I need. I'm just going to promote it. <laughs> I assume it's going to be fine. There's a little bit of a delay phase. And then he goes and fixes bugs. But we don't need to worry about that. It's not ours. So I'm just going to release it. Outstanding quality. Wow. We don't even have to worry about anything, do we? So... We've, we're have we already on £30,000. We could just do this. This could just be the game. Yeah, right, right surely. Um, let's do this logistics application. Again, it can be horrible, so it doesn't matter. And let's get to work on it. We could probably finish this in the day. We probably can't finish it in the day. But we got pretty close, so we can hit develop now. Um, and then he can go home, and then we can skip to the next day. Look at this, monthly profits. And he's just going to crack on now. Wow, we've made money. Review clients. Just make sure they like it. It's actually going to be outstanding because... Yes, they're going to be super happy with this. So we promote this, yes. It goes through a little delay. And then we can release it. And they're like, wow, that's super good. So we're on $38,000. We can nearly already... I'm just going to put this out here. Buy a piece of land. 
not even over exaggerating. However, I'm going to leave the episode there. That's right, we're going to leave it there because we started to make money, we started to understand it, and I think in the next episode we can probably try and develop our own software. Oh, oh, crap! Not now. Let's come off that. We'll we'll go back in it. But I think we need more staff, maybe. So we we maybe we look at skid and staff next. Who knows? Let's. Ca I'll catch you all on the flippity flip anyway. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you enjoy this little mini series, a new series, the Software Inc., then just let us know. But yes, catch you all soon. Bye bye.